We're now at lesson 3.3D. We're going to be finding the difference between two points on a number line. So the distance between A and B is equal to the absolute value of A minus B or the absolute value of B minus A. If this is A and this is B, the distance between them is the absolute value of their difference. So even if these were in the negatives, it's still one, two, three units. We're just looking at the distance between them. The distance between them is three units. So it doesn't matter which number is the minuend or which number is the subtrahend because we're taking the absolute value of the difference. Remember, minuend is first, subtrahend is second. So the distance between A and B is equal to the absolute value of A minus B or the absolute value of B minus A. Now keep in mind, the absolute value of A minus B and the absolute value of B minus A is not the same as A minus B and B minus A. This one uses absolute values, the other one doesn't. The commutative property does not work with subtraction. We can't do this. We can't have 7 minus 2 is equal to 2 minus 7. That won't work. But if we're doing absolute values, it will because absolute values are always positive. We can find the distance between two points by finding the difference of their absolute values, whether both values are positive, both values are negative, or if one value is negative. If both are positive, we have a positive 2 and a positive 6, we can do the absolute value of 2 minus 6 or the absolute value of 6 minus 2. We have a point at 2 and a point at 6. The distance is 4. If they're both negative, we have a negative 2 and a negative 6. We need to find the absolute value of negative 2 minus a negative 6 or the absolute value of negative 6 minus a negative 2. And the distance is going to be 4. We can even add the opposite and put a plus here and make that a positive and say the absolute value of negative 6 plus 2. We still get a 4 for our distance between negative 6 and negative 2. When 1 is negative, we have a negative 2 and a positive 6. We can do the absolute value of negative 2 minus 6, or we could do the absolute value of 6 minus a negative 2, or we can do the absolute value of 6 plus a positive 2. We'll add the opposite. We'll have a plus sign, and that'll be a positive 2. The distance is 8. Between a negative 2 and a 6, we have 8 units. So here's another example of both values being positive. We have a positive 3 and a positive 8. We graph the points for 3 and 8 on our number line, and since we're finding the absolute value of their difference, we can use the absolute value of 8 minus 3, which is 5. Between a 3 and an 8, we have 5 units. Now, we can also count the units between them on the number line. The distance between 3 and 8 is 5. Let's see another one with both values as negative. We have a negative 4 and a negative 1. We graph both points on the number line, and we can also count the units between them on the number line. Here's negative 4, here's negative 1. We have 3 units between them. The distance between negative 4 and negative 1 is 3. Here's another example. When 1 is negative, we have a negative 5 and a positive 2. We graph the points on the number line. Here's negative 5. We draw a point. Here's positive 2. We draw a point. We find the absolute value of their difference. So we have the absolute value of negative 5 minus 2 which is equal to negative 5 plus a negative 2, adding the opposite, which is equal to the absolute value of negative 7, which is 7. There's 7 units apart from each other. We know we can just count the units between them, but we also need to know how to find the absolute value of their difference. The distance is 7 between negative 5 and positive 2. 
Now, I know what you're thinking. I can just count them. I can just see on the number line how many units there are. But by knowing how to find the absolute value of the difference, we'll be able to find the distance if the rational numbers are too difficult to graph on a number line or will take us too long. If we have a negative 8 and 3 tenths and a positive 9 and 5 tenths, do you want to draw a number line that has all the tenths in it? Or maybe it would be easier to do the absolute value of negative 8 and 3 tenths minus 9 and 5 tenths and rewrite it to add the opposite, the absolute value of negative 8 and 3 tenths plus negative 9 and 5 tenths. See how we are adding the opposite? We had a subtraction, now we have a plus, this was a positive, now it's a negative, and they have like signs, so we just add them together, and the sum is going to be like the signs. We have the absolute value of negative 17 and 8 tenths, and its absolute value is 17 and 8 tenths. So sometimes you may not want to use a number line. Sometimes it'll be too difficult or take too long to draw a number line to figure out their distance. That's when it'll be handy to know how to do this using absolute value. So just like the horizontal number line, there's two ways to find vertical distance. It says a dolphin swam from 9 meters below sea level to 4 meters below sea level. What is the vertical distance the dolphin swam? So here we have a vertical number line, and one way is, since it's below sea level, we'll use negative numbers. We graph the numbers negative 9, we draw a point, and negative 4, we draw a point, and we count the number of units between them. It's 5. That means it would be 5 meters. The other way is we can find the difference between the two numbers and use absolute value. We have the absolute value of a negative 9 minus a negative 4. We can rewrite that to add the opposite. So instead of subtraction, we have addition. And instead of negative 4, we have positive 4. The absolute value of negative 9 plus 4 is equal to the absolute value of negative 5. That would be 5. So remember, absolute values are always positive, okay? That's why we ended up with a 5. We know the dolphin swam 5 meters. Now for that dolphin problem, we found the distance between negative 9 and negative 4 by finding the absolute value of their difference. We used the expression, the absolute value of negative 9 minus negative 4, and rewrote it as the absolute value of negative 9 plus 4 to add the opposite. We could have also used the absolute value of 4 minus 9 or the absolute value of 9 minus 4. We still would have gotten 5. Each of these are equivalent expressions for the absolute value of the difference of negative 9 and negative 4. Using either expression, the distance is 5. We're finished. With D, we're going to move on to the last part. This is at the end of Lesson 3.3. It's called Going Further, Identifying Operations. We're going to be applying subtraction for rational numbers. Keep your chin up. You've got this. And I hope you'll join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.